Hello, I am Flash Isaac, and you are welcome to my physics class. Recently, I released a video on dimension analysis, where I explained that in physics, physical quantities can be fundamental or derived. Fundamental quantities, they don't depend on other quantities. They are independent on other quantities. They exist on their own, and they have their units called fundamental units. Meanwhile, the right quantities are gotten from fundamental quantities. Also, the right units are gotten from fundamental units. For example, the top three fundamental quantities are length, mass, and time. And these quantities, they have their dimension, a way of representing them. The dimension for length is L, mass is M, and time is t. Dimension is different from unit. The unit of length is obviously a meter, kilometer, depending on how you are measuring it. Mass is a kilogram. We have other units, gram, and so on. Time is seconds. We have milliseconds, and so on. But these are the dimensions. A good example of the right quantity is force. Force is derived from fundamental quantity. How? Force is equals m a. So f is equals m a. Meaning force is equals mass times acceleration. This is from Newton's second law, which states that the rate of change of momentum of a body is proportional to the force applied. So force is equals m v minus u over time, where f t is equals m v minus u. So v minus u is what? Change in velocity. Final velocity minus initial velocity. So change in velocity is equals impulse. Impulse is change in velocity. Why change in velocity with time is acceleration. So from here, force is equals m a. In fact, from the first equation of motion, v is equals u plus a t. So v minus u over t is obviously equals a. Anyhow, you look at it. Now, force is equals m. Acceleration is velocity over time. So v over time, right? Now, velocity itself is still another derived quantity. And what is velocity? Displacement over time. What is displacement? Displacement is simply a distance covered in a specified direction. If you move from here to here to here, your displacement is here to here. So force is equals m, v is displacement over time, then 1 over time, which is this time. This is represent v. So force is equals, what is the dimension for mass is m? What is the dimension for distance? Distance is the same thing as length. If I say from here to here is 2 meter, for example, it also represents length and distance. So, and the dimension for distance is L over T is time. So, the dimension for time is T, T, then 1 over T time. This is force is equals M, L, T times T is T squared, T squared, which is equals M, L, T is the power of minus 2. This is the dimension of force. So you can see that force is gotten from mass, fundamental quantity, length, fundamental quantity, time, fundamental quantity. That is derived quantity. So this is a basic uh, one of the questions John we said under dimension. The dimension for force is, or you'll be given th this dimension and say what has which quantity has this dimension. Temperature is also a fundamental quantity, and the unit is k. I'll share a link to the full intro videos. Now let's solve one or two questions. Jam says, I shall be making use of the Flash Learner's Jam CBT application. It contains thousands of questions and you have the chance to choose any topic you wish to study. So it's a very nice app. Get it on Google Play Store or visit flashlearners.com to get it. So activation requires a token. So you won't reject activating it around. The first question I have here says, the expression, expression 
n raised to the power of a, n raised to the power of b, c raised to the power of c. When a is equals one, b is equals two, and c is equals minus two. So is the dimension of dash. From here, from force and the formula of force, we are able to get the dimension of force. Meanwhile, in this case, we are given the dimension and we are asked to look for the quantity. They said a is equal to 1. This means m raised to the power of 1, b is 2. So m raised to the power of 2, c is minus 2. So t raised to the power of minus 2. This is the quantity. Now, taking a look at this quantity, something can be formed from it. Look at it. This is m raised to the power of 1, m raised to the power of 2, over c raised to the power of minus 2. Right? And this is m raised to the power of 1, l over c raised to the power of minus 2, times l. This is m raised to the power of 1, l c raised to the power of minus 2, times l. Look at something. L t raised to the power of minus 2. What is it? L t raised to the power of minus 2 is simply acceleration. And L t raised to the power of minus 2, everything here is force. So this is force times distance. Force times L distance. What is force times distance? Force times distance is simply work done or energy. So work done is the product of a body's force and its distance. So looking at this option, B is correct energy or work, anyone you choose. That is it. So let us look at another question. Which of the following units is derived? So derived unit is simply the unit of a, uh, of a derived quantity. Option A says kilogram. Kilogram is the unit of mass. Mass is a fundamental quantity. Option B, meter. Meter is the unit of length, and length is a fundamental quantity. Option C, Kelvin. Kelvin is the unit of temperature, and temperature is a fundamental quantity. Amount of substance is another one. Meanwhile, option D says N, capital N. Capital N is Newton, and Newton is the unit of force. Force is a derived quantity. So, option D, N is the right unit. It says the dimension of pressure is equivalent to that. You ask yourself, what is pressure? Pressure is equals force over area. If pressure is equals force over area, force, we already have force. The dimension for force is m l t to the power of minus 2. Area is length times length or length times breadth. Whether length or breadth, they all represent distance. So, area is distance and distance. And the dimension for distance or length is L. So, L square is L times L. This is the same thing as M L T raised to the power of minus 2 all over L times L. 1L cancels this to give you M T raised to the power of minus 2 all over L. Which is equal to equals m l raised to the power of minus one t raised to the power of minus two. L raised to the power of minus one is the same thing as one over l over l. So this is correct. This is correct. Looking at the options, m l raised to the power of minus one t raised to the power of minus two. Option A is the correct option. What is the dimension of surface tension? This makes a lot of sense. Surface tension is simply uh, surface tension is simply force per unit length. So we already have force to be m l t to the power minus one over l. L cancels l, so this is m t to the power minus two. That is surface tension. So once you know definition of something, you should be able to get the dimension. And look at this last question. Which of the following dimension represents impulse? Impulse. Now, I mentioned impulse when I was talking about rate of change of momentum. And I said impulse is force times time. Force times time. So, force is m l t to the power minus 2 times time. So, one time cancels one time. Better, 
I told you this is the same thing as m l over t squared times time. T cancels one t. We are left with m l over t. This is the same thing as m l t to the power of minus one, and that is option B. Wow! So with this, we've been able to answer a few questions. Jump says under dimensions. Hope you found this helpful. Get the flash and us app for more of these questions. And don't forget to let me know how you feel using the comment box. That is it.